Okay, let us take question number 34, a question from vectors. Let u be the vector coplanar with the vectors a and b, two vectors are given. If u is perpendicular to a and u dot p is given to me 24, then mod u square is equal to. So, a conceptual question from vectors, we can start it in two different ways. One, first line says u is a vector coplanar with two given vectors, meaning u, a and b are coplanar, hence the scalar triple product is 0. Or if I go with the second line as well in continuity, which says u is perpendicular to a. So, what we are looking for? A vector. So, let us start with the second one that is u is a vector coplanar with two given vectors a and b and perpendicular to a meaning that u can be considered as lambda times a cross a cross b. Correct? Now, a vector and b vector are given to us. We can rewrite this scalar triple product as lambda times a dot b into a vector minus mod a square into b vector. So, this is u vector. a and b are given to me. So, I can write here a dot b by taking dot product of the two which is 2 put the value for a vector which is 2 i plus 3 j minus k minus mod a square which is 4 plus 9 plus 1 that is 14 b vector that is j plus k. Correct? So, this gives me u vector. Now, simplifying it further, we can write lambda times coefficient of i is 4, coefficient of j is 6 minus 14 that is 8, coefficient of k that is minus 2 minus 14 that is minus 16. So, this is our u vector. Further, it is given to me u dot b is 24. On substituting this one, we get dot product of u with b vector lambda times minus 8 minus 16 equals 24 or lambda equals minus 1. Hence, we obtain u vector as minus 4 i plus 8 j plus 16 k. Therefore, mod u square is simply 336. Now, looking at the given options, we can clearly see the correct answer is option number 4, which is 336. Therefore, answer is option 4. So, this is clear. Okay. Let us move to the next one that is question number 35. Now, question number 35, a simple question from complex number as well as we can say quadratic. Alpha and beta are the distinct roots of the equation x square minus x plus 1 equals 0, then alpha to the power 101 plus beta to the power 107 is. x square minus x plus 1 equals 0. What are the roots of this equation? Simply minus omega and minus omega square. We can write it as 1 plus minus root 3 iota divided by 2. So, this is minus omega and minus omega square, where omega is the complex cube root of unity. Therefore, alpha to the power 101 plus beta to the power 107 equals minus omega to the power 101 minus omega to the power 214. Now, omega to the power 101 that is omega square, omega to the power 214 that is omega. So, it gives me minus omega square minus omega or simply equal to 1. 
So, from the given options we can see the answer is 2. So, a simple question from the combination of complex numbers as well as quadratic. This is clear ok. Let us move to the next question ok. Let us take next one that is question number 36. Let g x equals cos x square and f x equals root x two functions are given alpha beta where alpha is less than beta be the roots of the quadratic equation one quadratic is given whose roots are alpha and beta. Then the area bounded by the curve y equals g of f x and the lines x equals alpha x equals beta and y equals 0 is pretty simple one if we consider the function g of f x. So, clearly y equals g of f x equals cos x. Now, quadratic equation is given if we solve the quadratic equation which is 18 x square minus 9 pi x plus pi square equals 0. We can see here 6 x minus pi and 3 x minus pi as the factors hence the roots as x equals pi by 6 and x equals pi by 3. Now, it is given alpha is less than beta. So, clearly this is alpha and this is beta. So, this is clear we got alpha and beta. Now, the question says simply find the area which will be integral pi by 6 to pi by 3 of cos x dx. Integrating we have equals sin x from pi by 6 to pi by 3 or this is equal to root 3 minus 1 whole divided by 2 square units. Hence, the required area when we look at the options part we can see the correct answer is option number 4. So, correct answer is 4. So, this is clear how we obtain this area ok. Let us move to the next one that is question number 37. 